Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna keep it low like this. That's cool. Good morning. It is another day of working in the shop on the Heavy Wrecker. Today, what do we got? We're working on the steering column, putting in the orbital valve. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> okay. So. Pause for dramatic effect. So the first thing that we've got here, we've got this steering column, and Tom's gonna weld this little doohickey on the end of this thingamajig. Then we're gonna stick it back in the column and use it for directional input. So while Tom Tom's welding this part up, I'm gonna be cutting out some brackets to mount the orbital valve. Still sliding. Looks like it's gonna be just what we need. So this bracket's gonna weld right there. And then we're gonna have either some supports to the frame or some big gussets, I don't know. Yet to be determined. <laughs> you wanna tack that in a couple places? Okay, come on over here and woohoo, it's hot. Tack this thing in here. Okay, let's see what we got for gussets. If you want nice brackets like these, go to barns4wd.com. Buy your own boomerangs. Make sure you use coupon code MORR at checkout to get 10% off your next order. Yeah, oh, you going big? Well, I don't know. I think that looks Ooh, better. Yeah, that's a lot of okay, that's hot, really hot. Um, just put a couple one. more tacks. Yeah. I'm gonna put this. <laughs> My goodness. Some people need to be reminded over and over. Here's the other one. This is pretty sturdy. Okay, so the way this is gonna have to go together, and I'm hoping it's gonna work, is that in there? Oh, look at all that room we've allowed ourselves. Um, that gusset's gonna be hard to put in there without getting in the way. So it's gotta be a small one. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> I'm a little leery of welding it all together because if that column sticks way down here, like none of this is going to work. Should we get the column and figure out where it ends? That we would might be, end up tearing it all out. That would be the sensible thing to do. All right, look at this. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a cool steering wheel? I like it. So this has an orbital valve and it's full hydraulic steering which means this wheel's gonna hunt. So I got this symmetrical wheel so that it... Won't well, look off center all yeah. the time, like, why are you turning left? Yeah. <laughs> it has emerged. Oh, hey. It's gonna be up by there. What do you think? To put a hose That's gonna work. It's got pretty good. This is gonna be nice. Plus it's got tilt, so it'll have other options. <laughs> you like? Got a setting for Jamie right here. <laughs> what? What did you say to me? He, he said you're short. I like it down low so I can see over it. You <laughs> should. I'd like that to have like that much. Well, I've seen worse. No, that, that looks right on. All right, so we got the steering column in place. We got a good idea of how we're gonna mount it. So I'm happy about that. We got the rest of the system figured out to the orbital valve. We're one joint away from being done. I wanna do it differently. I'm not, I don't wanna weld to that. But this is how it's gonna look. It's all in position. It's gonna work. We just need to replace the one U joint and this orbital valve should be ready to start putting all the hoses on. That's okay because I've got something else I want to show you and here it is. I know we're supposed to be working on the heavy wrecker, but we're not because a while back we hit a million subscribers and we're super happy about that. Thank you so much. Some of you remember that we had a video 
video contest and we ask all of you to submit videos of why you should hang out with us and we went through all those videos there were hundreds of them and we finally settled on four winners we've got them here today they've been hanging out with us so today we're going to be doing the west rim trail and we're going to be taking them through the maze and a little bit of the sand dunes we invited our friends luna and marlin from off road and chill to come just enjoy the day with us and do a little trail riding they've never been here either so right now only the moore crew knows exactly where we're going and what we're doing hopefully it turns out good things went wrong this morning already though <laughs> It's really, really bad. I pulled a little too far into a little floodplain area, a little catch basin. So I hope we got all the wrong things out of the way. We're going to put the ama We're gonna amazing, amazing. <laughs> I've seen it so many times I'm still not prepared for it like what it really is it's just sensory overload but in a good way <laughs> how was the tie I was really that was good <laughs> that was fun my heart rate's finally coming down a little bit listen we're, I'm gonna be here for two weeks you okay. sleep on it I'll sleep on it oh no no <laughs> oh, look at this now, 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 now never yeah, if you can walk up it you can crawl up it Luna, I think you might have gotten yourself into something. Got it. Let's go see how this feels. Remember, kids, peer pressure is never a good thing. I could do it. It's just if something goes wrong, look there's, how bad it goes. I just climbed. You got to be nuts into more there. I did. I'll call you in a minute because now I made a deal with Luna that if I did it, she had to do it. <laughs> okay, man. I would have her do the same thing: warmer tires up like I did, then back up and just go. <laughs> oh, she's just gonna. You're just gonna climb it. I just go, you got plenty of traction. That honestly didn't feel that bad at all. Yeah. That the drop down back there felt worse. Oh, my heart's like Matt, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it! Trevor! Ah, what?
Right I take this at night. Matt doesn't know. Oh, wow. Is that where my tire wear is coming from? <laughs> all right, this is the moment that you've all been waiting for. We are here in Hog Canyon. We're getting ready to do the trail that I don't remember the name of. I think it's Dave's Canyon or something. So it's kind of like the end of that last trail. I like it. But not quite that. I don't know, not that extreme. What would you rate it? A six. So. Well, we did an eight for breakfast yesterday, so a yeah. six should be fine. Yeah. Rudy has showed up. Rhett showed up. Hefe's probably back there. Colin showed up. Paul and Chad finally showed up. Late, Late as usual. But we're here. That's good. <laughs> and we got Papa Dar there in the stretch Jeep. Yeah. The SLJ? Yeah, SL. No, it's a YLJ. Oh, YLJ. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. I'm excited to go check this out just because the only point of reference I have got is watching Rudy go down and his whole tail end gets up in the air and comes on down. But this happened to be like my favorite video watching. Just everybody coming together, pulling that JK out of there. So getting to see it in person, I'm really excited to do. I'm excited to show it. <laughs> How about you guys? Oh, we're super excited to check it out. I can't no, believe how nervous. <laughs> I can't believe how good you're doing. Like I've had people in this Jeep that have flat out put their foot down <laughs> and got out. <laughs> She's a trooper. I'm hoping to get a little two-wheel action on this. Please don't. <laughs> you got this. Okay, now your passenger syndrome. <laughs> scary. <laughs> well, that's the worst one. You missed a pretty good front flip. I watched it in the mirror. <laughs> All right, so we made it through like the first drop and then the V notch at the bottom. Now we've just got to go up the waterfalls. Okay, we're going to take you up here. <laughs> Awesome. We've had Neil. Yeah. Did awesome. Thank you. And then David right there. Yeah, that was awesome. Right. That's a hard right. obstacle. I mean, it's that's yeah. a pretty hard obstacle. Cool. <laughs> keeping the gas going, keeping it moving. Yeah. I was going to crawl up there. It just felt like it was going to go, so I just kept going. That was awesome. <laughs> what happened the other day was a peer pressure type of thing. Yeah, so don't give in to peer pressure. Everybody, come on. Put pressure on here to not give in to peer pressure. Yeah. <laughs> but if you don't do but it, I'll be really gave disappointed. gave in yesterday. Oh, I know. I'm a super bad example. <laughs> we'll put you on a small obstacle and have you belly it out, and then I'll be like, what did you do? 
<laughs> All right, Karen, go ahead and let's get Jen here. So you can be on any of those, any of those back three lines, and you're okay on the shifter. That way, that way, that way. Stop. Back it up. You're doing great. Back it up. Okay, stop right there. Go that way more, 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 more. Now this way. Nice. Straight out of there. Oh, did you see what you just drove over? No. <laughs> I couldn't hardly see anything. I just hardly. <laughs> Okay, now step on the brake really hard and the gas really hard and let the brake off the brake really fast. Good drive. Perfect! <laughs> Woohoo! Driving the banana more than I did. I'm so proud of you. I'm like, hey, Kara, it's, it's time to get out and she wouldn't do it. <laughs> All right, here comes Ty and the banana. put in a pretty hard day so I'm gonna have Ty drive us out of here cuz I'm tired he's got a Jeep he calls Judith it's a Jeep Cherokee an XJ and it's yellow feel right at home all right that's a wrap for the million subscriber giveaway hog Canyon Tom's trail giveaway ride along Jeep experience with Matt's off-road recovery a Rudy's adventure and design probably fab rats and Papa Dar and then Chad fab we got Luna and Marlin from off-road and chill and then all these winners look at all these winners <laughs> thanks for watching <laughs>